Hello, everybody. Welcome or welcome back. Um, I had a whole topic prepared and ready to go. And then, of course, I had a thought and an experience happen that made me want to kind of shift around what I was going to talk about um, to something that I feel is really, really important on this journey of raising self-esteem and more awareness to who we are, where we fit in the world, how to improve the quality of our lives in order to find more joy. And there's this phenomenon that I've noticed. And ever since the pandemic, it's been getting worse. And it's a habit that for a lot of people needs to be broken if you're really going to find that connection to self and connection to others. And that is going to be the topic today, connection. The other day, I was taking a walk around my neighborhood. I live in, I feel so blessed. I'm in this great neighborhood. And I was walking and there was this guy who was walking, walking his son, his little baby son, probably a year old or less, was in a stroller. And he's pushing the stroller with one hand and he's scrolling on his phone with the other. And he was not paying attention to anything. He wasn't talking to his kid. He wasn't looking around at this beautiful environment we were in. He was on his phone. And I walked and we passed and then I came back and he was sitting on a bench and his son was in the stroller facing him and he was on his phone scrolling. And I felt really, really sad um, because those are such precious moments. You know, my daughter is now 18 and I remember when she was one year old and I would take her for walks and I love that when we could just stop and I'd look at her and I'd tell her stories and we'd be looking and say, oh, look at the bird and oh, look at the trees. And I would be with her with that experience. And I love telling her stories. That was one of my favorite things to do. Um, I would make up stories and, and tell her, especially at bedtime, I would tell her stories at night and I love doing that. And now she's 18 and I really miss it. But those moments that I had with her, those connection moments, helped to make her into the person she is today. I mean, I'm not going to take full credit for her awesomeness. You know, her mom gets some and her other family members and, you know, the experiences that she's had in her life have made her as amazing as she is. But I really do feel like that connection that we have uh, and had was really important to her becoming who she is. So that's what made me sad when I watched that guy. He's he's not connecting with his son. He's on the phone. And I I, I don't know how to process that because that was not my experience. And, and I'm doing my best to not frame that in terms of good and bad or right and wrong because his experience is his experience and his son is going to grow up to be who he's supposed to be. And maybe one day he'll be a speaker on um, how to connect better with other people. I don't know. Um, but I noticed that. And, and the other night I was at a restaurant, actually the other day, and I was at a restaurant and there was a family of four at a four top square table. And they were waiting for their food. Their food hadn't gotten there yet. And all four of them were on their phone. And this is a restaurant in a Disney resort. So they were on vacation at Disney in one of the nicest hotels at Disney at the restaurant and not looking up and seeing the beauty that's around them and not sharing their experience of what happened the day before and what they're looking forward to that day. No, they were on their phones. And I see that happen so often. And it just I, I, I feel sad when that happens and I get frustrated and I want to go over there and say, will you please get off your phone and enjoy each other's company? And, but you know, it's not my place to do that. They have their experience and I have mine, but what I know from building my own self-esteem and working on myself so hard for so long, the thing that really enhances my life is connecting with others. And when I intentionally connect with myself, when I do something to nourish or exercise my physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual parts of who I am, 
that's when I connect with myself. And I love to do it intentionally just so that it's not just some random thing that I'm doing, but I'm intentionally going to sit and just watch the, the lake and the trees for 10 minutes because my heart just feels so full when I sit and, and, and I'm engrossed in all this amazing beauty around me. Or the other day, um, I went to Animal Kingdom. It was the day before my birthday. And I went to Animal Kingdom for my birthday. And of course, I went and I made sure I got my birthday pin. And I wore my birthday button all day long. And every time someone would say, oh, happy birthday, it would just make me happy. I just loved that feeling. And I had such a fun day walking around Animal Kingdom by myself. Um, and whenever I see people at Disney that say, oh, yeah, I'm going by myself, I tell them, good for you. I hope you have an awesome time because I didn't have to follow anyone else's schedule. If I wanted to sit in, in Pandora and just look at everything for 20 minutes, I could do that. I didn't because there were things I wanted to do. But I went on the Flight of Passage ride, which is my favorite ride in all of Disney. And it was so much fun to be on that ride and, and connection. Let me talk about connection here. When I was in line, there were this couple behind me, an older couple, and I was talking to them about various topics. And one of them was, have you been on this ride before? And they said, no, we've never been on it, but we've heard really good things. I said, this is my favorite ride in all of Disney. And we finally get up and they, and they put us in the ride and we're sitting next to each other. And I said, are you ready? She said, I think so. Am I going to get motion sickness? I said, you know what? It's a screen. If you feel motion sick, sick at all, just close your eyes. And, and it'll go away. She's like, oh, okay. And then the ride started. And if, any, if you've been on that ride, you know what I'm talking about. If you have not been on that ride, you have to come to Disney World and you have to go on Flight of Passage. It's amazing, especially if you like the movie Avatar, it's going to blow your mind. So I go through my ride experience and I'm just immersed in the whole everything. And then the ride ends. It always makes me sad when it ends because... I want it. I want more, of course. And the ride ends. And I looked over at this woman and she looked to me. She said, wow, that might be one of the most incredible things I've experienced in my whole life. I said, yes, me too. <clears throat> and that connection, that's what made it even more special. So that connection that we create with people. I mean, how many times have you been somewhere and just randomly you meet someone and connect in a way where it's like, wow, that was really cool that I happened to be there at that time. And on the way over, I was complaining because I was in 10 minutes of traffic. But if I wasn't in those 10 minutes of traffic, I would have missed that opportunity. So when those connections happen, you know, when they do for me, I just get really grateful and feel really grateful that the universe has, has put me in a position to be with that person and connect with them in that way at that moment. It just is one of those fulfilling things that life provides. So look for ways to connect with people. You know, whether it's a good morning, a good afternoon, hold the door for someone and they say, thank you, you're very welcome. You know, little tiny things can make a huge difference. And put the phone down. You know, for an hour, for a day, put the phone down and look at the beauty that's around. You know, sure, if you if you have an email that you're expecting, you know, pull off to the side and read the email or or respond to the text. But it's amazing how many people they get a call. They feel like they have to answer it right away. No, you don't. Or they get a text. Oh, I have to answer it right away. No, you don't. Take your time, you know, reply when you want to reply. It's okay. I mean, I remember a time before answering machines. If you just weren't home, people didn't know. So <clears throat> look for those ways to connect and you will find a lot more fulfillment in your life when you do that. Um, you know, I, I mentioned I just had a birthday and I went to Animal Kingdom on Thursday and then on Friday, some friends took me to dinner and it was awesome to connect with them. And one of the things I love doing when I go to a restaurant is connecting with the servers. You know, they have a tough day and a tough job and they're running around helping people. And and I always like to say to them, how's your day going? And and to see how they respond, it's like, oh, wow, um, thank you for asking. It's It's going really well. So it's, it's just connecting with people. That extra connection can mean the world to someone. 
So I hope you find more connection in your life and look for those opportunities to do that. Um, Cause yeah, it's, it also, you know what it else, what else it does? It makes things more fun. You know, when I go somewhere and I'm looking for ways to connect with people, it can be a lot of fun to do, you know, in my cool little Disney job, when I get to do that, my whole job is connecting with people. That's all I do. And I probably connect with, I don't want to exaggerate. 200 people a day? 200 people a day I'm interacting with. Maybe more. I might be under exaggerating. I don't know. But a whole bunch of people. I mean, it's constant all day long. I have one of the most guest interactive uh, positions in all of Disney. And I love it. No, I'm not a character. I don't dress in any of the suits or costumes. Um, but yeah, it, it, and it's a blast and I love it. And it's so much fun. I mean, yesterday I had this experience where, oh, I wish I would have brought it in here. Um, oh, you know what? I can do that. I'm going to pause right for a second and go get it. Hold on one second. Okay. okay. I got it. So <laughs> I'm, I'm at my work spot and there's a little girl, probably, I don't know, six or seven years old. And I said, hi, what's your name? And she told me your name. And I said, are you having fun? And she said, oh, I'm having so much fun. I said, is it your first time here at Disney? She said, uh-huh. I'm like, oh, well, where's your first visit pin? She goes, I don't have one. I said, oh, I want to give you something. And I got one of the first visit pins. And I said, this is for our very, very special guests. This is our once in a lifetime, very special Walt Disney World first visit pin. And she went, oh, thank you so much. And she started like, she had this little dress on with these pockets. She looks in her pockets and she says, I want to give you something. I'm like, oh, you don't have to do that. No, I want to. And she pulled out of her pocket. Can you see that? A paperclip. And she said, here, I want to give this to you. And I took the paperclip and went, oh, oh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm going to treasure this. Oh, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And she was just beaming. That smile was so big. And her parents were like, oh, my God, this is so special. It's, to some people, a paperclip. To me, this is something really, really special that someone gave me. That's all she had to give me. But she wanted to give me something because she felt that connection. So, you know, maybe you won't have connections that impactful, but when you open yourself up to it and you look for ways to connect with others, it, you're going to be blown away by what's going to start to happen in your life. So, yeah, let's put the phones down. You know, have certain times during the day when you check your phone. I mean, there are so many times where it's like I'll hear my phone ring. And it's like, oh, man, where is it? And it's in the other room because I haven't even thought to bring it with me. I don't want to be connected to my phone like I am to myself or to others. I don't want that same kind of connection. So, and I found my life to be very fulfilling. So I hope you find that too. Find that connection to self. And it has to be self first. You know, if you really want to find those connections with others, finding that connection with yourself has to come first. So we do that by exercising and nourishing the four parts of self, the physical, the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual. And when we intentionally do that, we have a better connection to who we are. Connect with yourself emotionally, connect with yourself mentally. There's so many different ways to do that. And, and when you do this and you have that connection with yourself, you're gonna find your connections with others to be so much more fulfilling. So go get it. Go get all the joy in your life that you want and yes, there are pain points in your life. There are pain points in my life, but we choose to give things as much energy as we want to give them. I mean, if I ran through the whole list of things that are going through my mind right now um, of things, you know, what am I going to do and how am I going to do this? And, you know, to me, the three most relieving words <laughs> of all are, I don't know. And I used to be freaked out by, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God, I don't know. And it would bring a lot of anxiety. But today, I don't know, means that, 
you know, what's going to happen tomorrow, next week, next year? I have no clue. All I know is that today is my day to do my podcast episodes and it's my day to go shopping, uh, grocery shopping. And I'm going to go do that when I finish here. And I'm looking forward to connections there. Oh, let me tell you about this one. Last week, I went to the grocery store and I live next to this store. It's really great. I mean, the people who work there are wonderful and and it's Publix. I, I should probably get a little ad thing for Publix. I love Publix supermarkets. You know, shopping really is a pleasure. And the employees there, all of them, most of them are really friendly. Um, and the other day I, I checked out and the, did you find everything you were looking for? Yeah, I did. Thank you. How's your day going? And I talked to, I think it was Sheila, and we talked a little bit. And the guy who was bagging my groceries, um, I forgot his name, but every time I see him, it's like, hey, how's your day going? He's like, I'm good. It's like, oh, I'm so glad to hear that. And bag my groceries. And as I'm leaving, I see two managers standing near the door. And I went up to them and I said, are you two managers? And they said, yeah, we are. And I could see the look on their eye was like, oh, my God, what's he going to complain about? And I said, you know, I just want you to know how much I enjoy coming in this store. Your people here are so wonderful and you always have what I need. And I just really appreciate the job that you're doing because this place is just wonderful to come to. And they're like, oh, my God, thank you so much for saying that. And I said, you're very welcome. You have a great day. And I left. Connection. And, and I wanted to let them know how much I enjoyed it. And how many times when there's a complaint, we're the first ones to speak up. Oh, I don't like this and I don't like that. And this is bad. And who, I need to speak to the manager. But how about I want to talk to the manager and say, you know what? Your server was amazing. I had such a great experience here. And, and that server really helped to make it such a great experience. Or out of the store, hey, are you a manager here? I just want you to know I really appreciate being in this store and everything that you guys have. You're doing a great job. Thank you. It can make all the difference in the world. They could have, they could be having the worst day, but you say something like that and all of a sudden it flips it around. Connection, connecting to others in a positive way. It really, really does make a difference. So look for ways to do that today or tomorrow, like soon. Find a way to connect with someone and just say, hey, I just want you to know how much I appreciate you. Hey, I just want you to know how much I respect you. I just want you to know how much I love you. To do those things makes all the difference in the world. You know, the other day I was I was listening to someone talk about issues that he was having with his daughter and that it was really contentious right now between them. And it made me realize how much I miss and I love my daughter who's away at college. And I texted her when I got home because I know calling her isn't always good. She's, just, you know, running around doing stuff. But I sent her a text and I said, I just heard a friend talk about what a hard time he's having with his daughter. And it just made me realize how much I love and appreciate you. And I sent it to her and she wrote back. She's like, oh my God, dad, I love you too. And, you know, just those little connections make a huge difference. So look for ways to do that with the people in your life. Okay, that's my episode for the week. Um, I hope you got something out of that. Um, God, I know I did. Oh, I love doing these things. This is so much fun for me. And I hope it's enjoyable for you too. So I will see you next week with another episode. I don't know what I'm going to talk about yet. We'll see what happens in this upcoming week. Um, but Crystal, my virtual assistant, she gave me a topic idea. Maybe I'll do it next week uh, because I didn't talk about it this week. But this seemed to be more important to me, so I wanted to address it. All right. You take care. Wonderful having you here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if there's ever anything I can do to support you on your journey, please feel free to reach out to me. You know, on my website, it has my contact info, uh, information on our community and how to get involved with that. I do a lot of interactions with our community. Um, so that's a good way. We have some really cool people in there. So hope to see you there or feel free to send me an email. And I look forward to meeting you at some point down the road. So enjoy your day. Take care. All right. Bye.